Hi, everybody. It's Mrs. Sullivan. It's Friday. It's almost the weekend. We also are getting rid of all of that basic geography stuff that we've been doing all year. And we finally get to start in on the fun stuff, interesting stuff. Now, we only have a week or so before fall break. So we're not going to get into any major details about certain civilizations, but we are going to do just a little introduction here in, the, in this next week about kind of what makes up a civilization. And today gets that started. So hopefully you're all ready to go. So today is Friday, October 2nd. Now, your warm up says something different, and it says that you're supposed to watch a video. Well, I decided to change things up again after I already put the warm up on there. So some of you didn't get that change. But what you are going to answer is the question that I have up here right now on the screen. Just kind of an intro. Think about what do you think attracts people to settle in a certain area? Why would they live there? Why would they move there? What kinds of things do people look for when they are getting ready to settle down and and decide that that's where they're going to live. So just try to think of a couple things that would make people live somewhere and write that in your warm up. There's lots of different answers in there. Now today, our objective is to understand what makes up a civilization. Why? So you can better understand how societies developed into what we have today. They had to start somewhere. How we're going to do that today is you're going to read an article titled, A Visitor Returns from Azkabar. Then you are going to do finding evidence of a civilization. It says partner group work for the people here at school. But if you are at home and you, you know, have a friend, feel free to work together. You can FaceTime if you have that available. Whatever you can do. Perfectly fine. But you're going to find evidence in that article to see if Azkabar was a civilization or not. And then at the end, you have a success check of what do you think two questions that you need to answer. You'll know you've got it when you can describe what is needed to be a civilization by giving at least one example. There are lots of things that are needed to be characterized of a civilization. But today, intro day, if you can just give me one example, we are good. And then you also need to be able to state your opinion and provide evidence to back that opinion up. So those two things will be done in that success check. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to email me. And hooray for no more basic geography. Have a great weekend.